Hello, my name is Senior Master Sergeant Dennis Swanson and we are here to build model rockets. On the table you should see a set of instructions for assembling the rockets and also at the end we uh, will also go over the uh, launch safety rules. So um, the first thing that we do with our model rockets is you'll see a section of uh, PVC pipe that has a, uh, a stripe of duct tape on it and that will be the form that you use for rolling your fuselage tube. Now you can fold it, you can roll it either way, either the long way, and this rocket is rolling way, or tonight we are going to roll ours the short way, roll it up good and tight on the, on the uh, tube, nice and smooth, and you'll end up taping it. Now this one, uh, I've already rolled one here that's uh, taped up nice, so we don't have to uh, uh, fight that too much, but the main thing is to make sure that if it uh, is not taped to the tube, you want it to be able to move up and down on the tube a little bit. Now, the second thing you're going to do is figure out how many fins that you are going to attach to your rocket, and we have all sorts of colors of fins, and I have cut out three, and I've already applied a stripe of tape to the uh, long side of the right triangle, and I actually tape it down to the table. That's really important if you're uh, assembling the model rockets outside where it's windy, because once you cut them they will uh, blow away on you. But even indoors it's uh, handy to have them taped to the table and that way you can uh, make sure that they aren't going to get mi mixed up with somebody else's. Now, once you have determined the number of fins that you've got, then you uh, slide your edge of your tube, right, of, of your fuselage tube down to the edge of the form, and then we have the, the uh, fin marking guides, and this is set up for three fins or four fins, and you take your marker, and uh, set it on the number of fins you've got and go ahead and mark on your tube the, uh, the number uh, above the number on the fin marking guide. So there's my number one and my number two lines up here with the seam and here's my number three. So I mark it on the fuselage tube. And uh, then the next thing that is uh, done is we cut out the circle for the nose cone. So we still leave the tube, the fuselage tube on the form. Don't take that off yet. So you'll see the, uh, the forms for the, uh, the circles for the, the nose cones and we want to cut those out including the radius uh, line and that way you take the, uh, the nose cone and slide that down and you can make a, a nose cone, uh, roll that in there. I recommend making sure that the, the marked side is on the inside so that it doesn't degrade from the, uh, the attractiveness of your rocket. Now, you're going to slide this up to the other end and get that up there. This one's really tight. So get it right up to the edge there. And once you get that right up to the edge, and you get your nose cone rolled tight, you want to make sure that it's about the same size there. Give yourself just a little bit of, of uh, tube sticking up there, and that's what it looked like. Before you uh, tighten it down there, make sure you take a, t a stripe of tape and uh, tape across the seam on your nose cone so it doesn't unravel on you. And then once you've got that taken care of, then you can uh, take another, you have another stripe of tape handy, and we will tape that to the top of the fuselage tube. And make sure you've got tape all the way around it, because otherwise it'll let the uh, air pressure out. We are going to be uh, launching these with a burst of air pressure, as you can see from the rocket we've got uh, already pre-made. It's a very simple launcher and we'll talk about that in a little bit. 
Now, once you've got the nose cone attached, then it's time to uh, go ahead and attach the, the fins. And you can line the bottom of the fin with the bottom of the tube. And because you've already got your piece of tape on there, you can just uh, slide that right down on there. And take your next one and do the same thing. And uh, then the third one. Now, once you've got those attached that on that side, then you can take a piece of tape and reinforce the the other side of the fin, and that way it will stick out from the body of the rocket fairly perpendicular. You want that fairly perpendicular for your launch. Of course, this one's been uh, in a bag and uh, used and shown around for a while, so it's. Uh, it uh, wears out pretty pretty fast, but we like to have them fairly pretty for launch time. And once we get the uh, final piece of tape on there, we are pretty much ready to go. Now, now it's time to remove the uh, tube from the body of the rocket make sure that you don't crush your rocket. Now the reason why we we uh, have the tape on this one is so it's slightly bigger than the tube that we use for launching the rockets. So as you see here, just a simple burst of, of uh, air and there it goes. Ready to have fun. The uh, launch tubes that are just simple uh, piece of uh, three quarter inch PVC pipe wedges into your uh, drink bottle and uh, the, we do file the edges off so that they uh, slide into the body of the rocket easily and uh, 